Hey everyone, it's Eric here and just shooting this video to show you how to get your Google Maps API key. This is a new feature and it's necessary um, now that Google's released a new API for anything that uses maps. So within Project Supremacy, anything that's um, you're, you're using a map for a location for, so that would be any Pixabay um, XF geotagging, any Media Bay XF geotagging, anything inside of your schema map settings where you're supplying any map settings. So basically anything where the Google map shows up, you're going to need this maps API key. So the first thing, make sure under your project supremacy homepage that you have the most um, latest version. So here you'll see your version and last version. Just make these, make sure these numbers match up. Currently the latest version is 2.4.96. So make sure you're updated first. Then to get your API key, all you're going to have to do is under your general settings, click on the Google Maps API tab. And then this link right here will take you into your Google console. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click right here, get a key. And then of course you're going to have to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So once you're signed in, the first screen you might see um, is actually going to ask you like permissions. There'll be two questions. The first question will ask you if you want to receive email and updates, you can say no to that. The second question is going to basically, you're going to have to say yes to that. It's going to be you agreeing to Google's terms and conditions in order to use their API service. So select yes to that. Then um, from this screen, Google's actually going to create you um, a default project. That's going to be the first step. You have to create a project. So you can use the one that Google creates for you or you can go ahead and create a project. So I'm just going to create a project just to show you how that looks. And you can see creating my project. And it just takes a few seconds. And then you can see once there's a project, you can actually just select that project. And then what you're going to do on the left, click on credentials. And then you're going to click on the drop down for create credentials and you're going to create an API key and you're going to create a server key. So the name for your server key can be anything you want. I'll just name it the website. And then you can leave the IP address field blank and just click on the create button. And then your API key will pop up and I'm going to copy that. It'll pop up in this modal window, but it'll also be saved here under your credentials, um, your Alberta Mats key. And that's the API key you're going to need to copy and paste over in Project Supremacy. Once you click save, that's all you're going to need to do in order to successfully create your maps API key and make sure when you're um, creating your key that you follow the instructions in the video very closely because it is pretty easy to get lost inside of uh, the Google developers console. So just reference this video and make sure you get that done correctly. If you have any questions, please use your support link, submit a support ticket from the support link inside your members area. All right, thanks.